hello welcome back to another video from science for fun in today's video we are going to understand what dipole moment is and how to calculate dipole moment for a given set of equations well it is not basically an equation they will give you a particular compound and they will ask you to find the dipole moment using dipole moment uh, we will use another practical example also that what is the use of dipole moment calculation but later in the video let us continue with the definition the mathematical definition of dipole moment is that it is a product of the charge separation distance given by this value r and the magnitude of that charge given by this value q where mu is the dipole moment mathematically we can say that mu is equal to the charge multiplied by the distance between them now this charge is actually the charge dipole difference now the question comes what is a dipole well let's move to the definition of a dipole a dipole is a pair of equal and opposite charged particles or polar magnet poles that are magnetized this one is for physical use if you are a physics student you should know that uh, even if poles are magnetized one is a north pole one acts as south pole it behaves in a similar manner as two charges are with obviously some few characteristics difference but that is something different uh, completely different one but for the time being we can say that two poles which are magnetized and two opposite charged particles behave almost similarly here in the given example uh, sorry diagram you can see that particle a and particle b are the two different charged particles one is having a delta positive a small positive charge another one is having a delta negative a small negative charge separated by a distance r this is what a dipole is and dipole moment just can you uh, okay just pause the video and think for a moment in physics in in your high school you have probably studied another moment just like this one can you say which one is just pause the video well if you have found the answer the answer should be moment of inertia it works on a very similar way it, it is also depending upon the distance and the force that you apply on the particular particle or object Similarly, in chemical science as well as in physical world of microdynamics, we use this particular concept where dipole moment is equal to the product of the charge dipole multiplied by that distance between them. Now, let us see how we can use it for calculation purpose. So, we are in the example section and I have said that there is an application of dipole moment. One of the very important application of dipole moment is to calculate how much percentage of ionic character a particular given set of molecules have. So let us move to the question. The question says the dipole moment of HCl hydrochloric acid is 1.03 dBi and the internuclear separation there is a separation between hydrogen molecule and chlorine molecule sorry hydrogen atom and chlorine atom is 1.275 angstrom. Calculate the percentage ionic character. So let us move with our any problem just like we every time move what the information we have. So information we have are that the dipole moment is 1.03 dBi. The separation distance the R we have discussed here in the formula R is 1.275 angstrom. In CGS scale it is equal to 1.275 in 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter. The first assumption that we have to make here is let us say that the molecule is 100% ionic. This is theoretically possible. In practical life, this is not never possible. No molecule is 100% ionic and no molecule is 100% covalent also. There is always some part which is covalent for an ionic molecule and vice versa. So every molecule possesses both ionic and covalent character. One of the is very weak so generally we say that HCl like in particular case is ionic but it is not 100% ionic it has some covalent character we will see that in a minute so let's move to the, our assumption that we have just made here that let's say that a molecule is 100% ionic if that is true which is not but if that is true then the, this charge Q will be purely by virtue of the charge separation between them and the charge separation between them is because of one extra electron that chlorine will acquire from hydrogen which hydrogen will donate you can check it this out by drawing a lewis diagram for hcl and you can see that hydrogen will donate that electron and chlorine will accept that electron 
Now we know the charge for a particular electron is equal to 1.602 newton to the power minus 19 coulomb. But we have to make sure that the units match. Here we have taken the CGS unit. So he same uh, we will use the CGS unit here also. So we get the value as 4.8 into 10 to the power minus 10 ESU electrostatic unit. This is a CGS unit. You can check this out how coulomb and uh, ESU is match. If you want me to verify this relationship, just make a comment down below. I will definitely answer that. So I'm going to change the page. So let's continue there. So we have put in the charge, the separation and the unit ESU centimeter. This is nothing but the D by. So if you calculate this, let me show you the calculation. If you just calculate it, you will get 6.12 D by. This is just D by ESU centimeter this is nothing but d by okay this is what we have calculated and in our given question which we have if you have remembered in the given question we were given that mu observation is equal to 1.03 d by all right now the question is percentage ionic which will be equal to observe mu I calculated mu into 100 so let us put this out it is 1.03 divided by 6.12 into 100 let's calculate it let me just calculate and put the value so I have calculated it and it comes to 16.83 percent let me write it down here 16.83 uh, percent so you must be thinking that okay wait a second that means you are talking me that more than 80 percent it is actually if you minus 100 uh, sorry if you minus 16.83 from 100 uh, you will probably get around 83 so 83 percent of that is covalent but we all know that hcl is ionic in character how can 83 percent be covalent wait a second it is not entirely covalent 83 percent is not covalent or 16.83 percent does not mean that the leftover part is covalent right? the meaning of this particular value is that if we are supposed to compare two particular given set of molecules suppose hcl and h2so4 and we are supposed to find out which one is more ionic then this value is going to help you this value does not say that HCl behaves more covalently than it should be as ionic. No, HCl behaves as an ionic character. It will dissociate when you put it in a polar solvent like water. It will give you separate H plus and Cl minus. It has all characters property any ionic compound should have. The point is this value give you an idea how much that property a particular compound has and thereby help us to compare between two given set of compounds showing us which one is more ionic in comparison to another so the step to calculate percentage ionic character is first of all use the concept that let us say that the entire molecule is 100% ionic then move from there and you have to know that how much electrons are being played here for each electron 1.602 newton to the power minus 19 coulomb charge should be used use that value calculate the calculated mu then move on to the given observe it observe mu now this this particular character helps it is actually found uh, by experimental value that the larger this value of dipole moment is more will be the ionic character that's a common thing more this di uh, this difference is must be less for in order to make sure that this one is more so observe mu must be more in order to get a more percentage of ionic character there you go it if you have any doubt please make sure to put it in the comment i will definitely answer it it may take some time but i will answer it so thank you and do like the video share it and make some comment and please subscribe it really helps the channel thank you bye